Okay, so you probably just looked at me doing a bunch of um, vector operations on 2D vectors. So now I'd like to do pretty much the same thing with uh, 3D vectors instead. All right, so vectors with um, three dimensions. Um, these are particularly important in physics because, you know, we have this three-dimensional world. And so oftentimes we spend a lot of time um, describing things with three dimensions, right? Three dimensions actually means that we need three different um, coordinates. So let's say I'll have one vector at one meter, one meter, and five meters, right? And maybe I'll have a second vector with um, positions at one, minus one meter, one meter, and another meter there. Um, and then one final vector with 11 meters, minus one meter, and minus 11 meters. Okay, so this makes it a particularly fun plot because, well, it can be a really long um, plot, right? It's got minus 11 and 11, five, and all sorts of big numbers. So since it's so fun, let's go ahead and do it, all right? Okay, and we're going to need a long x-axis for this one. The longer the x-axis, the better. That's what I've been told. All right. So, um, let's go ahead and try to put, put these down. So we've got this A guy. He's one meter in the x direction. This is a right-hand coordinate system, x, y, and z. Uh, we tend to use right-handed coordinate systems in physics. In uh, math, sometimes I use left-handed coordinate systems, and it gets everyone confused. So that's what—that's the benefit of mathematics, right? Taking math classes helps get you confused. Okay, so we've got A with one meter here, one meter in the y direction, and then five meters straight up. So it meets here, and then it goes straight up to five meters there. So this is our point. That's the tip of our arrow, and we draw a line from here, I guess at zero, up to uh, this point for A. For a. Um, I just don't want to tear the paper by drawing it the wrong way. I can, I can feel where it's weak. All right, so we've got A there. B, we have a um, similar sort of look here. It's minus one in the x direction, so a little bit back here and then still one there, and then we go one up instead. So B is coming backwards this way, so like that. So that's B there, a little hard to see, but that's what happens when you try to do three-dimensional things on a two-dimensional surface. All right, and then C, which is designed particularly to confuse, confuse you. Um, let's see, we go down 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We go this way 11, forward 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so parallel line here, parallel line there. Uh, maybe we should do a little bit of um, foreshortening, blah, blah, blah. No, we don't need to do foreshortening. All right, so that's um, the x and the y, or x and the z, and then we have to go minus 1 in the y direction, so just over here about that far. So that's our c, which is much larger than the other two, but the only reason I chose it to be like that is because it makes our life lo lives a lot easier if it looks exactly like that. And you probably won't see it, but... I did it with some random numbers earlier, and um, I decided I had to think them out a little nicer. Okay, so we've got these three vectors, and we want to do some basic vector operations with them. We want to do a couple of things, see what happens when we add, subtract, take um, magnitudes and stuff like that. So let's grab ourselves a um, nice selection of operations. A nice simple one is just A plus B plus C probably did that one um, previously. I don't have it in front of me, but that's that's one. That's sort of one that, you know, we like to do a lot. It's nice and simple. And then let's do one with a constant in there that makes it just a little bit different. A minus 
um, 2B plus C. Everything's going good. Um, let's let's find the magnitude of just like A plus C. Sounds fine to me. And if we do that, let's go ahead and compare that to the magnitude of A plus the magnitude of C. And let's make things wonderfully entertaining by doing um, one complicated one at the end. Okay, so how should we do this? Maybe we'll take the uh, the absolute uh, not, uh, the magnitude of A times B divided by the magnitude of B, like that. Um, plus magnitude of B times A over the magnitude of A. I'm really tempted to use different notation, but we'll stick, we'll stick with this. I, I, I don't want to confuse you at this point. There's plenty of time to confuse you later. Um, okay, so our answer should be for A, we just add what, A plus B plus C. Okay, um, since we're new to this, we'll just go ahead and do this thing substituting. We've got A and that guy up there is our A, so we have 1 meter, 1 meter, 5 meters, plus B, which is minus 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter. So minus 1 in the X, plus 1 in the Y, plus 1 in the Z, plus um, 11 meters, minus 1 meter, and minus 11 meters for C. Okay. And when we just add them all up, well, all we do is we add them all up um, one component at a time. So we say 1 minus 1 is 0, plus 11 is 11 meters. That's okay. Uh, 1 plus 1 is 2 meters, minus 1 is 1 meter. Okay, we're all right. 5 plus 1 is 6, minus 11, that's 5 meters, I think. Eeny, meeny, miny, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with, oh, minus 5 meters, right? Yeah, so there we go. That's a perfectly reasonable answer. Let's go on to the um, next one. Uh, A minus 2B plus C. Um, so we're going to use these scalars exactly the same way that we used the scalars um, previously. We're just going to multiply those scalars by um, whatever num whatever vector is there, just like we were, we'd multiply it by, by three different numbers. You know, we'll send this two in here, two in there, two in there, and we'll also do the same with the minus sign. Um, because addition and subtraction, they're the same thing. Only the same. Um, so now we've got a big list of numbers that we have to multiply. Um, I could foil that thing in there, but I mean, I, don't, I think you know how to multiply by 2 already. I'm pretty sure I do, so let's see what happens. 1 uh, minus 2 times minus 1 is um, 1 plus 2, which is 3 meters, plus 11 meters, that's 14 meters. Okay, I'm okay with that. 1 minus 2 is minus 1 minus 1 meter is minus 2 meters, right? Okay. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Okay, I'm good with that so far. And then 5 meters um, minus 2 meters is 3 meters. Minus 11 is, um, so we have 3 minus 11 is minus 8 meters, okay? Uh, seems beautiful and wondrous to me, so um, let's keep on going, right? Let's see what goodies lie in store, what excitement, exciting, exciting things, and what could be more exciting than taking the magnitude of a sum of two vectors? I haven't heard of anything, so I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to comment anymore. I mean, that is just, you, you know, where life should be, life doesn't get any better than this. Just add a couple of things and find the magnitude. You're you're so lucky that you're going to get to do all this homework. Um, I'm I'm really really jealous because you know I've already done all your homework, um, which means I don't get to do your homework again. You get to do your homework from now on. Um, so the magnitude is the operation where I take um, each one of these components squared, the difference of these two, or the sum of these two components, so like 1 meter plus 11 meters, 
then square them, and then add the next set of components. So we have um, one meter minus minus one meter, and square that. Or no, I'm summing them, excuse me. All right. Um, that's going to be nice and zero. I love zeros. Zeros are fun. Um, then we have 5 meters minus 11 meters. Um, that guy gets squared too. Alright, so that means we have the square root of 12 squared is 144 meters squared. Right? And then we have... Um, 5 minus, that's minus 6, it's plus 36 meters squared. Okay. Which ends up being the square root of 180 meters. And the square root of 180 meters, well, 180 is 9 times 20. 9 being a perfect square and 20 is 4 times 5. So we have 3 times 2 times the square root of 5. So 3 times 2 in my book is 6, square root of 5, and we get their units, meters. Okay, that should be squared. Okay, so 6 square root of 5 meters. Alright, that sounds pretty good to me. Um, we will trudge on. Let's see, 9, we have the magnitude of A plus the magnitude of C. This is really where that, um, that huge, you know, this huge, um, X and Z component thing, you, you know, that that's where this really, really helps us. Um, you're still not going to see it, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I'll, um, I'll sit here just secure my knowledge that everything is just wonderful because of it. So we've got the magnitude of A is one meter squared plus one meter squared plus five meters squared, right? Um, so that's equal to the square root of um, 25 plus one plus one, 27 square meters, which is equal to three root three meters. I can deal with that, that's, that's all right. Okay, so now we have our last, we come to our last um, little guy here, which is um, the magnitude of A times B over the magnitude of B plus the magnitude of B times A over the magnitude of A. Okay, um, one thing you'll notice is that these are unit vectors here. Right, so we should have something less than the magnitude of A and less than the magnitude of B. Um, possibly the same, but they're not, they're not parallel, right? So if they're not parallel, then, um, then it's less um, by necessity. Okay, so the magnitude of A, well, we just decided that was 3 root 3 meters, right? Um, B, we're going, we said is minus 1 meter. Um, comma one meter comma one meter right um, the magnitude of this is the square root of one squared plus one squared plus one squared which is a square root of three and like I just said the magnitude is a square root of three so we do the same thing here um, we know the magnitude of a is three, three over root three or three times root three excuse me and a is one meter one meter five meters Okay. Oh, it's getting uh, complicated here. Well, these root threes cancel, these root threes cancel, so um, we really have three times B um, and one third plus one third times A. Uh, not deep in complicated territory. We're still still in um, some simple, some sort of simple life sort of thing. Oh, we have minus three meters from this guy, plus one third of a meter from this uh, this side, comma three meters from this guy, three times that guy. Um, I forgot these have units, meters, meters, meters. Um, three meters uh, 
plus one third of a meter here. Um, and then we have three meters plus five thirds of a meter. Okay, so lots and lots and lots of little things. Um, but this is actually the end because we, we add these two things together. We have nine thirds minus, um, minus um, one third, so we have eight thirds of a meter here. So we have nine thirds plus one third, so we have ten thirds of a meter here. Um, and then finally we have nine thirds plus five thirds, which means we have fourteen thirds of a meter here. And there we go. Nice, simple, easy to use. A user, a user, a user, a user, a user friendly experience. Um, thank you very much for listening, and I'll talk to you soon.